Well, today's video, I'm going to be going over uh, welding stainless with a purge. I know it doesn't sound very, I don't know, but uh, it is very important to have a purge, especially when you are going close to full pan or something you can blow through the back side of. What you end up with on the back side of something like this, like in this case, this is 45 thou wall. No matter what you do, if you don't have a proper purge, you're going to get sugaring on the back side. What is sugaring? Sugaring is porosity and an opportunity for cracking. So uh, anyways, I'm going to show you some of the home DIY, not even DIY, just uh, easy ways to set up your purge and uh, that's about where we're going to go with this today. A neat thing I actually found uh, on Amazon, which everything's on Amazon nowadays, is a dual regulator. So this is like real convenient because what I've always done is I've always run a splitter off my gas feed hose to my welder and then you're running an equal, equal back purge to your shielding gas on your torch. The cool thing is, is really like you can rush in a purge with a little higher CFH, depending on the size of the vessel you're trying to back purge. But me as a home guy, I want to save gas. So once I know I've got a clean back purge, which in this case, this is two inch 45 thou wall. I'm going to, I'm going to purge it at 10 CFH or so. I'm going to run my gas flow for my torch at probably 15 CFH. But once I'm welding and once I know I have a purge, I'm probably going to back that back purge down to like 5 CFH because basically we filled the vessel, there's not much gap, we have the end sealed, and it's just a good way to save a little bit of gas. So anyways, that's that. I'm going to do a little setup of setting up my purge. Another neat thing I know, they make like pipes or uh, uh, pipe caps for any of these things, plastic for purge. That's great until your weld joint is really close to the end of your your deal here and then you melt your caps. So thing I've found that works really well is tin foil. Tin foil is aluminum. Of course it'll melt, but you can it'll withstand the most heat of anything I've really found. I mean people use steel wool to plug these things. I guess that works too. But Reynolds wrap is really cheap. The only thing about Reynolds Wrap is your wife will probably be pissed at you when she goes to use her Reynolds Wrap and it's gone. Squat that up, cover the end, that's great. You can see the last time I purged I used tape, which that works also. And it seems to hold on good, but again, it burns up. So, enough of that tape. Take my purge hose here, just whatever this is, I don't know, quarter inch ID plastic hose, doesn't need to be anything special, it's just taken and transferring argon gas. I'm gonna shove that down the pipe. Frontal drop. Boom. It's in there and it's actually pretty strong so it doesn't want to come loose as you're rolling this member around. The only thing that makes this difficult might be grounding, but nope, got the ground to work. So anyways, next thing you'll see is uh, I've got this tacked. So I'm going to take, set my, get my purge going here, and set this guy, I don't know, go 10, between 10 and 15 CFH on the purge. Shouldn't take long to get this guy going. Got my purge going, got my torch gas set. A bit of gap on one side of my fit up, so I'm going to weld that first before the heat really gets to this thing. All I have is 332 tungsten here at home, so you sharpen it to a real sharp point. Yeah, I got a bit of a gap over here, so it's really hard to get it attached, especially using this tiny filler. 
I got 16th filler because I'm doing small tubing. So we started welding the other side. We've got our gap closed up, so I'm gonna turn our back purge down to about 10 CFH, because there's nothing, this vessel's full. There's not much getting out right now. So let's get to welding. This stainless really, really gets warm. Especially this really, really thin stuff. Over here to this side. I'm gonna go back and forth on this stuff. The heat'll get out of hand quick. Give it a quick brush. guy up here. And I think I'm gonna do, I don't really like this tungsten anymore. I'm gonna flip it over. It seems like it's holding quite as tight of an arc as I like. that other side I think we can get that in one now maybe two shots clean that guy up Two-inch pipe weld. Turn my purge off. Turn my tank off again. Or home guys, nobody's paying for this gas. If I was at work, it'd be a different story. I still try to conserve, but I really try to conserve here. So there's an unbrushed weld. And then we will go ahead and brush it up. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, yeah, I wish I could do a bit of a cutaway view on this thing so you could see what the purge did. It's smooth on the inside rather than porous and kind of sugary looking is the term. Um, anyways, there's that. Well, this is really thin tube, so honestly it's not the greatest looking weld. It doesn't want to hold, but uh, there you go, but it's a full pen weld and there's no sugar on the backside. And it'll do and it'll never break, I guarantee you that. Thanks, don't forget to subscribe and like, please. Uh, yeah, really wanna keep the videos coming and let me know what you think of videos like this. Thank you.